Welcome to another day of Ether Raids. We're taking on K-Lulz here, and we're gonna use the Erica team once more. Uh, here we go. We're gonna get uh, hopefully another win off this one. Um, basically, we're going to send Erica into the middle here. Uh, ideally, I would have liked to warp her over the top, but uh, gatekeeper, <laughs> uh, so we can't do that. And um, yeah, otherwise we're just gonna set up. Um, Bait out the units and then clear the map from there. We should be good to go, um, all things considered. Uh, unfortunately, I can't get all of the uh, status effects that I want to get on Ike. Uh, he's going to be a little bit exposed in terms of that Celica matchup, but uh, hopefully, with um, just uh, Seneth here, hopefully, it'll be fine. Um, so, yeah, we'll see. Um, but yeah, we're going to break open this middle row here and send uh, Erica up. And then uh, we'll get going from there. Uh, I was considering using Fjorm, but uh, sh uh, this Shamir here actually was the death of her uh, because of how fast that Shamir is, so probably wouldn't have been the best idea. Um, but yeah, we're going to get going. The AoE won't be a problem because Gato, of course. Um, I'm wondering if that's what I should be doing with my Kadean Nin, with my... Um, at Tsuyu Nino running an AoE because she like hits for zero like all the time these days. <laughs> I mean, I could give her potent, uh, not potent, um, a Assassin Strike. Actually, I need another copy of that skill uh, just to fix that zero problem. But then she loses out on the tempo, so this way. decisions. Um, but in any case, we're gonna set it up like this and then get going. I wonder if I should put Ike behind Erica here to give the Breath of Life support. Uh, it shouldn't be a problem. Is it time? I mean, I am going to get debuffed by... Uh, got this. What's her face? Sanaki. But I think I'd rather have the Breath of Life support and I should still outspeed uh, Celica anyway, so... And then... Yeah, okay. I think I'm going to put Ike there. I should still be able to be within three spaces of Sedith so that uh, I can get the buffs. Because That's Erica right. here is getting no support uh, to be able to heal. Uh, she does have healing in her weapon, but I don't think it'll be enough to survive some of these combats. So let's set up like this. Hmm. Good not sped, but... Oh. Oh. What happened there? <laughs> I got... I'm getting completely outsped. That's interesting. That isn't supposed to happen. <laughs> In bonus season, of course. Outside of bonus season, she can get outsped, but she really isn't supposed to get outsped in bonus season. Um, that seems to be a combination of things between... And I here isn't properly supported, so I don't think he'll survive this. I didn't get the uh, Asker buff on him, which looks like a problem. Uh, and this, okay. So I think it's probably a combination between Discord, the drive from Gatekeeper, and the the uh, the, uh, the debuffs. Debuffs just ended up being too much there. Interesting. Sneaky little map. I didn't expect that. <laughs> a lot more speed than I anticipated there. I was really hoping uh, that set of support would have been enough for Ike there, but um, you got me. <laughs> All right, I'll play another one. GG's. Okay, we're playing Kerry Kerry Cory Cole here, and this is the Fjorm team for this season. Good morning. Um, basically, Fjorm here is gonna kill everything <laughs> uh, it's supposed to be a multiple tank team uh, so let's say we have the emblem Celica here or, or facing against an emblem Celica uh, we would basically just tank Celica with um, Cam uh, Camilla uh, Ninja Camilla here and then or I could use Veil it really depends um, but Camilla is here just for that specific situation uh, and also gatekeepers here as excellent support for this uh, warp meta to stop anyone except a lesser name Celica. Um, looking at it right now, I could probably actually drop Camilla because 
I could really just play her role with Veil and add another Mythic there. Not something that I actually thought about beforehand. Hmm, I might do that actually. I could probably get, um... I could probably get... I don't know, ask her or something? Hmm, but then it wouldn't, it wouldn't be to my benefit because of low-key matchups, uh, which is also something that I was trying to plan against in terms of having low-key... Uh, steal my buffs. There's only two buffs here that are being passed around, unless I dance with uh, Peony. Um, so Loki won't steal them. Um, uh, uh, <laughs> Loki won't steal them. Uh, again, unless I dance with Peony. Um, so, I don't know if I want to add Asker to this team. I might add uh, either Sedith or for the extra HP, I might add Lumera as well as the Stone Terrain. Reporting for duty. But then it's also good yes. to have a flyer. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll leave it alone. <laughs> Maybe I just get lazy and not do anything. Um, my good biggest morning. concern here is if Baby Robin gets uh, rallied. Um, which is why Gatekeeper is here, because now Not can't warp below Baby Robin to rally him. Uh, Hush Spectrum is a big problem to deal with. Hold on. Upon your word. I think I need to move Veil vale here. She's gonna be in range of Igraine. One, three. I wonder if Veil vale can survive a hit here. With the Assassin Strike, it's probably gonna be too much. Uh, Alright, let's move Veil. Vale. I'm gonna reposition Veil vale back. Uh, should be fine, I think. <laughs> Uh, Veil was only really here so that I didn't get hit with specials, but aside from the AoE, no one here is going to have a, a special pre-charge, so uh, it should really be fine. This one's going to be a little bit more tactical in terms of getting up uh, into the map, but I think that's going to be my last strategic point here for now, this reposition, and then we get going. Um, I'm actually happy that they didn't IS. Uh, that they didn't put out a um, Fey channel for the uh, CYL units because it would have ruined the hype completely. I feel like the hype is is really building up. It's at like a premium, uh, a crescendo at this point. Uh, we're really just waiting to see uh, what the units are going to be and what skills they'll have. So I think uh, putting out a CYL banner trailer early would have ruined our interest in the unit reveal, reveal banner, which should be on Wednesday. Um, yeah, should be on Wednesday because we got to get the stats on the next day, which would be Friday or Thursday. And then by Friday, they should be out. Yeah, I think that math banner stats reveal. Yeah, yeah, Ready, Wednesday. Um, and then yeah, I think I think this, they did it. They handle it really well this time around. Last year, uh, they revealed everything kind of too early. I feel, um, but this one, I feel this was the right so play. Hot. I really want to know what um, they're going to be doing with Alphonse. It's going to be so interesting to see him added to the game. I wonder if they're going to like completely swap out the old Alphonse and let us use this updated version, which would be a big, big win in my my opinion. But I don't think they'll do that because. Um, I feel they didn't do it with Veronica um, uh, when she got her CYL victory. Uh, they didn't do it with her, so I don't know. Well, then again, she wasn't one of the main trios, so something to think about, I guess. I'd like them to do that. That would be really good because I really, really hate using the Asker trio. So if they could get so upgraded, um, that would be great. Uh, it could be like a free upgrade of all the aspect. Well, then again, it would only be for um, Alphonse. So a free upgrade of Alphonse um, because everyone gets a free. But then, I mean, why not just give everyone the unit? Free upgrade of Alphonse, and then uh, what will happen is that we'll vote for the <laughs> we'll vote for Sharena and Anna next, <laughs> so that we can get them free upgraded as well. But I don't know. I don't think they're gonna do that. That sounds like Maybe too nice of a gesture. But it would—I think it would be kind of oh, dumb to have two Alphonses in my barracks. Um, even though I have like a 
we have similar units that have multiple ults in our, ba- our, in our barracks. I don't think I'd like to have the same thing for Alphonse yes. because clearly one Alphonse is going to be miles better than the other one. So you're always going to want to lean on that specific, unless they make it Here so I that go. whatever mode that you can, that he's being requested in, you can swap Here out for the other I Alphonse. Then that would kind of make sense. Ready, I don't know. We'll see what happens there. Just theories and thoughts in my head. Um, but yeah, someone said that they wanted to have oh, tier way. five um, or a new a new AOE that did times two damage, and I'm like, no, no way. <laughs> the game is not ready for that. It, the AOEs in the game currently do enough damage. I mean, they scale off of stuff like speed for some units, like Goldveg. So yeah, we don't need AOEs doing times two damage. That that would just break everything. <laughs> There'd be no stopping that. It, the AOEs in the game already kill you. They're all they're like tactical. They're like mobile bull towers in a sense. So yeah, you, we don't need that. <laughs> um, so yeah, we just gonna take out the armored units. I feel like here uh, we have enough support to heal back close to full enough health. Um, my only concern is if Baby Robin repositions Mur here. Okay, so the movement worked out in my favor. Um, we heal, but also Loki is gonna stop her move. Even though I wasn't gonna move from the spot anyway because I have to block this position. So now what will happen is that Not will rally on baby Robin because she has nothing else to do. And I, I gotta figure it out. <laughs> um, I feel faint. As you can see here, I still have my stuff. So hot. Uh, Fjorm will kill everyone here. Yes. My biggest... Oh, that's nice. Yeah, we're going to do this with Fallen Veil. Vale. Um, secret behind... Or story behind this Veil. She is just really cranky because she hasn't gotten any sleep. <laughs> and uh, she needs daddy's love. So that's why she's fallen. Um, and then the other Veil is happy because she's, she's got a ton of sleep. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, but anyways... Uh, we're going to take that with Veil vale because what that means is that it could potentially open us up to um, take out Edelgard. Um, well, oh, yeah, let's see what that looks like and then we'll move forward from there. The thing about Baby Robin is that his hus or the her hus spectrum inflicts such a massive stat swing when combined with her uh, out of the box B skill, the B skill that she comes with which gives like minus five to attack and speed and then some additional stat swings in there as well. So it will allow her to outspeed you in a lot of situations. The good thing is that um, Fjorm only needs one hit to win. Uh, and the Ikring plus her Frost Spike Mirror gets a ton of damage reduction. So she is going to kill um, any ranged unit that she's able to counterattack against, which is pretty much everyone. Um, the problem, though, is if she gets doubled and if the opponent has, like, let's say, Miracle, um, those two things can be a concern, but that is not the case here. Uh, Firm will kill. I just gotta make sure that I get everyone else out of the way because it could be uh, a problem if one of my units gets sniped. Uh, re the back door. <laughs> but it should be okay. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all the planning. We're gonna get the pots afterwards. Uh, as you can see here, uh, Camilla has done nothing because I still don't trust her, but she's here because in the event that I need to use her. But yeah, I think we already talked about that before. I upgraded her kit um, a while ago. I think I've shown this theme, this Camilla a long time ago, uh, given her the Resonance 4, which I'm actually not that big on. I, I, I feel I'm leaning more towards a Cult of Strike as being better. Um, I don't know, I just feel like the damage output is more. Um, could be wrong, Where probably am, today? but that's just my leanings, my uh, preference currently. Um, so yeah, there's that. And yeah, this is, again, early video. I think I'm going to drop this before the uh, new units today? come out on Friday. Maybe. I think I'll have... Uh, hopefully, way. I don't know what I'll have ready. I don't know. <laughs> we'll, we'll see what I have because I might not have any videos for the weekend. I don't know how this is going to work out, but yeah, let's see how this is all scheduled up um, when the time comes. Uh, and also, I don't want to put too many videos yes. out on Thursday. But Here it's going to be at least two for now. 
The only thing that this team is missing is Breath of Life 4, and I put it on Gatekeeper if I w no. Well, yes, I could if I wanted to, but uh, really, I want to get another Edward so that I could fodder that instead. But yeah, let's see what happens here. There's the rally. Ah, Robin did not attack. That means that we will survive. The Hus Spectrum doesn't matter because it just doesn't matter to Fjorm. 92, Veil Protection. <laughs> I almost said something. <laughs> Not safe for YouTube. <laughs> or at least this type of YouTube channel. Low key here. Ah, uh, we don't not rest, but that's fine. She still isn't going to do enough damage to take us out. And we hit for... 162. <laughs> Alright, awesome. And that's pretty much that. Uh, we're going to get the pots. Either Camilla... I think Camilla should be able to take out this Edelgard. Um, Stealthy as can be. But, yeah, we'll see. Feels so good to be using Firm again. She has, uh, yeah, she's definitely worth. She definitely was worth the investment. Um, it's kind of crazy. I felt like the last match was probably a good example of it. How, um, how fickle the speed meta is. Uh, the Lagoo's friend or the defense-based damage reduction uh, meta is a little bit more consistent. But once you lose the speed check, today? you're pretty much dead. <laughs> so you always so had to. I think that was a, a flaw in the design of the speed-based damage reduction meta, um, which I think will probably fix if they ever re reintroduce, or it will be fixed if they introduce true... Well, they've already done it, but like as a beast kill or something, they haven't done that yet. But when they do that, um, it's going to be like a percentage, like a flat percentage of your speed or something. So. It's not going to be so susceptible to being, um, like, against you, I guess, is the, probably the best way to put it. Uh, if you lose the speed matchup, because, yeah, it, as you could see with uh, Erica in the previous match, she got outsped by Emblem Silica and she Here died. That's pretty much what happened there. <laughs> um, but... We should be good. I, well, I guess, I mean, if you get outsped, you're going to get double, but at least you will be able to attack. Uh, which is what Fjorm was able to do here. Um, yeah, never mind. Rambling. <laughs> um, yeah, let's let Vale do this. I currently think Not is like the second best um, defense mythic after Loki. Um, it's not even that her refine was that great, it's just that Medius has less value now because of uh, Breath of Life 4. Um, and he was like the only one that was actually really good. So um, we need a new Dark Mythic, actually. <laughs> but that's it. GG's.